Whenever I get really angry, though, whenever I get so mad, I'm going to just lose it. I try to remember what one of my heroes would do in that same situation. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. This dude was surrounded and bombarded with so much hatred. Hopefully none of us will ever have to experience in our entire lives. I mean, and he never snapped publicly. Not that I'm aware of. But nowadays, the rest of us, we're just sitting at home on our computer with the caps lock button already pressed. <laughs> Say something, motherfucker. Somebody's out here. I'm just gonna surf around till I find somebody who says something. We're ready to snap like that. We've got these hair triggers of hatred, right? Oh, he never snapped. And he, ooh, he had handwritten letters threatening the life of him and his family. You know how much you have to hate someone to write legibly in cursive? <laughs> Like, I will kill all y'all. Damn it, those double loops again. <laughs> Never once did he snap. And he wasn't an, an anonymous internet troll. He was a dude who had thousands of people listen to every word he said. He could have mobilized an army of hatred if he really wanted to. And listen, he's just a man, right? We all know about his infidelity. It's well documented. But guess what? Every person is flawed. And that's inspiring because I'm flawed. That means maybe I could be a hero too. So could all of us because we're all flawed. Shit, dude. I know he wanted to snap. I know there were moments where it almost crept in where he was this close to just letting the world know. I have a dream. But before I get to that dream, here's a list of names of people who can suck my dick. <laughs> Clyde Monroe, Mobile, Alabama. You can suck my big black dick, Clyde. Kirby Turnbull, Martinsville, Indiana. You can get fucked, Kirby. J. Edgar Hoover, Washington, D.C. Lick my hairy asshole, J. Edgar. But he never once did that, did he? <laughs> and that's why there's a street named after him in every city in the United States of America. Because he never told anyone to S is D. <laughs> so the next time you want to tell someone to S your D, or F your C, or L your A, or whatever it is you're into, <laughs> just ask yourself one very important question before you do. Just ask yourself, would I like to have my own boulevard someday? <laughs> and if the answer is yes, keep that S my D on the inside. <laughs>